It is a proposed billion dollar investment right here in the D. We are talking about Major League Soccer, a stadium here. Brad Galley joins us with a look at where it could be located and why this is such a big deal and creating so much talk. Brad. Yeah, a world class stadium that will seat 20 to 25,000 people, a project with a price tag up to a billion dollars. Yes, there is excitement today about a fourth professional sports team joining an emerging downtown district at early as 2020. But there's also questions of where and how it will all come together. I'll tell you what, it would be, from our analysis, one of the most unique entertainment sports entertainment zones anywhere in the United States, maybe the world. Dan Gilbert, members of Tom Gores' team and the commissioner of Major League Soccer, explaining today why they want to bring the MLS to the city of Detroit and their eyes on one site and one site only, the unfinished Wayne County Jail. I was here very quietly uh, last month, and as we were touring around the city, uh, Dan and his group said, this is really the gateway to our city, and they're thinking of putting a jail, finishing the jail project, and we said, what a great place for a soccer stadium. The proposal includes a billion-dollar price tag, and it's not just for a soccer stadium. Gilbert emphasized it's going to be an extension of the emerging sports and entertainment district. And a big question everybody's asking, who's paying for it? Clearly, uh, our expectation is the, the bulk of any expenditure would be on the part of the private uh, folks you see here. What does bulk mean? How much will taxpayers pay? Well, look, I, we really haven't put any of the economics to this thing be, be yet. At the end of the day, Warren Evans, uh, County Exec, and others are not going to make a decision that is not in the best interest of the citizens of Wayne County. The community, the county, the city, the business community, and the people of Detroit need to come together to figure out a way to make this work because this is a 50, 60, 70 year decision. And that decision, according to Gilbert, has just one option. He says there is no plan B. When you start looking at plan B, it takes away from plan A. His eyes are set on building on that Wayne County Jail. Now, negotiations are going to have to take place to get that site taken over. But it was really interesting today to hear that MLS did not have Detroit on its radar the entire time it's been building its league until just recently when it saw the city's emergence. And soccer is so huge. It's yeah. going to be very popular. Are you thinking that the, the attendance is going to be there? Yeah, they said no doubt. You can look at clubs like Detroit FC and the, and the Michigan Bucks and this kind of like underground soccer movement that's become very mainstream here. They see the support definitely there in Detroit. Absolutely. And so we'll many see kids love soccer too. too wouldn't it? Ooh, now we're talking. <laughs> That'd be nice.